Come on, everyone. Keep up. These push-ups shouldn't be hard. Especially half-shifted. <sighs> Remember, if anyone does more than me without giving in, they can go home early. But by the looks of it, that won't be happening. Is anyone even in the 300s? I expected better stamina from you than this. Even humans could do better. <sighs> oh. <sighs> uh, didn't see you there. Did our meeting get rescheduled? I thought it was for next week. Ah, I see. If he was busy today, that made sense why he switched our appointments with you. Alistair must have told me that. Ah. He gets hard not to tune out sometimes, don't you think? I'm kidding. He's a great advisor. This is on me for running training longer than usual. Otherwise, I would have been in my office to meet you, and not out here with the others covered in sweat. What's that look for? Ah. Is it the nipple piercings? I guess this is your first time seeing me without a shirt. I got them years ago when I turned 18. I've always liked the look of piercings. I've got quite the collection nowadays. Or... Is it that you're seeing me with some of my wolf traits for the first time? I guess this must be an odd sight for you. All of us lycanthropes have shifted. While our full wolf forms only come out during the full moon, we can half shift at will. Meaning some of our wolf traits, like our ears, tails, teeth and claws are present, along with... Ah. I hadn't realized that the other clan that you're interviewing had already shown you. But that makes sense. It's a great thing for your book. They've probably shown you a lot, haven't they? Hmm. Well then, it's a good thing you're here today then. Because I'm pretty sure this is something only I can show you. All these young werewolves are alphas, and under my tutelage. Now that they're young adults, it's time to increase their training even further to ensure they'll be proper alphas as expected of those in Pac Phobos. Which means it's important they control themselves emotionally and physically. And I'm the best person to teach them that. I have them shift into their partial wolf form like this, and then make them exercise. Their body will instinctively want to give in to their animalistic side, so they can tap into their more primal strength and make the workout easier. The challenge is to keep in full control. Ah, one second. Keep it together! I almost saw you lose it there, Bailey! And Taylor, don't slack off now. You know that's not proper form. If you're going to commit yourself, commit yourself fully. I know you're all capable of this. I wouldn't push you this far if I didn't know you could handle it. All of you that have completed the exercise, drink some water and cool down. Everyone else, catch up. 
Ah. I've missed this. Oh? Yeah. This used to be my responsibility, even before I had to step up as acting clan leader. I could do what they're doing when I was half their age. Or, honestly, probably even younger. I was being primed to be the next leader, so I had to have more rigorous training than the other alphas. It's a good thing I naturally like working out. It wasn't long before the alphas in charge of training me were struggling to create new curriculum that would actually challenge me. You don't seem very surprised. Why is that? Did my musculature give it away? You know, I could show you. Nadine! Do not start fighting with Atlas again! I'll be right back. Those two will have a go at it if I don't intervene. Wait right here, alright? So, you're the writer, hmm? I gotta say, seeing you, I get why the pack leader has kept you away from the rest of us. You know, if you want to get a close-up look at a werewolf for your book, then I can... <clears throat> what the fuck do you think you're doing? Quiet. Eyes down. If you're going to act like a pup who can't keep their eyes to themselves, then you're going to be scruffed like one. Unlike you, I can control myself, which is why my claws are only against your throat. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Good. You're going to have to take yourself to Alistair and tell him how you disrespected a guest of Pac Phobos. A guest of mine. Whatever punishment he gives you, take it. Now go. Natasha will be overseeing the rest of today's exercise. Come with me. We're leaving. That never should have happened. As acting leader of Pac Phobos, you have my apologies. Are you okay? You don't know how glad I am to hear that. Please know, I never would have let anything happen to you. I promise. You're always going to be safe with me. And I don't want you to think that behavior is common. At the age they are, as young adult alphas, their hormones surge, driving them to court others looking for a potential mate. The instincts get even worse as winter approaches. But even with the surging instincts, he never should have approached you that way. Especially since you were someone who clearly had no interest in him. You didn't, right? I had just assumed. Ah, good. That's what I thought. I didn't take him as your type. Not that I've thought about that much. Oh, well, if you're interested, I, uh, don't really have a type myself. 
I haven't exactly dated enough to know. It really surprises you that much? Well, it's not from a lack of opportunity. I'm not going to pretend that I haven't been propositioned. But my duty has always been towards my pack first and foremost, so I haven't had time to indulge those, uh, more base desires. Which didn't bother me, as I never used to have much interest. But now that you... Ah. Never mind. No, I was just running my mouth. A habit that only seems to come out around you. But, if you're that interested, I can share a bit about courting for werewolves. I have gotten quite a few admirers, but I think all of them have only approached me for my position or, well, my body. None of them truly knew me well enough otherwise to have different motives, and some outright admitted it. Some alphas like that sort of comment on their physique. Werewolf courting can be pretty forward, by human standards. I bet some of the things I've been told about my body would make you blush right to your ears. And I'm not shy about my body. It's something I'm proud of, with all the work and care I've put into it. But, well, there are certain things I'd like to only hear from an actual lover, and not just prospective ones. But most people don't expect alphas who look like me to have those sort of romantic notions, I suppose. I know I'm dancing around the sort of things that they've said, but in a way it's more fun to leave them up to your imagination. I was right. You do have quite the cute blush. Oh, and I'd always do the thing proper of any alpha, and give them a straightforward, respectful rejection to the face. That may be odd to humans, but it would be more insulting to not acknowledge their interest, or let them think they had a chance at me being a potential mate. Though, any attempts that were an actual courting and just trying to get in my pants, I'd leave with Alistair to deal with. He gets a bit of a kick putting wolves like that in their place. Oh, speak of the devil. This is a call from him. Did you enjoy the gift I sent you? Mutt had the audacity to. Wait, what? Hmm. When does he want this meeting to take place? And you're sure he wants them there too? Any idea why? Well, they're here with me now, so I'll ask. But you can tell him that for me, I agree to meet with him. I'll leave you to it. Call me back if there's more information. Bye, Alistair. Well... Roddy, the leader of Pac Deimos, the other leader you've been interviewing. He's requested a formal meeting between him and I. While not uncommon, it is a bit uncommon for such a meeting to be requested so close to the ritual where I become the next official leader of Phobos. He wants to meet the day of. But even more uncommon... 
downright unheard of, is that he wants you there too. What do you say? Thanks for listening. I appreciate you taking this time to meet with me like this. To make sure you don't miss our next meeting, you can subscribe to Anagomi. For more from Anagomi, you can check out the other videos on the channel, or enjoy the explicit and age-gated for adults only audios created on patreon.com slash Anagomi. If you'd like something entirely custom, that's easy. You can make an inquiry at anagomi.com slash commissions. Maybe you'll want even more of me. If so, I'll be sure not to disappoint.